Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and I want to talk to you about your Harley Davidson's fuel system. I'm going to take you through it, the mechanics of it, from start to finish, and I'm going to explain to you what parts you could upgrade and the times you ne maybe need to do those upgrades. Now, for this particular video, I'm using a fuel system off a 2019 Fat Bob, but the basics of this are going to be the same for basically every fuel injected Harley Davidson and quite frankly, most fuel injected motorcycles. Like what happens first? Well, in the gas tank is your fuel pump and that's where the magic starts to happen. There's really no need probably ever to really upgrade this fuel pump. You can build big hot rod motors, big hot rod motorcycles with a stock fuel pump. Where you may need to remove your fuel pump is if you're painting your bike or if you need to change a filter or if there's a failure. They've gotten better over the years, Harley Davidson, at getting these fuel pumps out. 100% of the time, they're gonna be in the tank unless it was like a custom build of some sort. They can be a little bit of a puzzle to get out of that tank, go slow, don't yank on anything because you could tear something or break something getting the pump out. Take your time, kind of get that puzzle piece out of there. So this is the fuel pump. What you're looking at here, here's your float. Tells you how much gas you have in your tank. You have a filter, you have the pump assembly here. From there, fuel travels down a little fuel line and it hits this manifold right here. On the M8s, this manifold is actually made out of plastic. Now, a lot of the earlier ones and the ones you can upgrade to are not plastic, they're aluminum. And the throttle body is setting separate over here. We'll get to that in a minute, but why I wanna bring that up is some of the aftermarket ones and some of the older ones, the throttle body piece and the manifold were actually all one piece there. Basically, fuel comes in here to this little bit of fuel rail that holds the injectors. I have this injector taken out. You can see where it plugs into the wiring harness right here. These injectors spray fuel straight into the backside of the manifold here, basically spraying it right into the intake valve. They're positioned that way to get a very direct path into the intake valve. It is a good idea if you're, if you're making horsepower on an M8 to upgrade even this manifold part here because the aluminum ones can be ported, they're larger size, they flow better, more air, more horsepower. Also, injectors. This is something if you're going to build a motor, is really, really important to pay attention to because you can reach the 100% duty cycle on your injector, meaning like they can't do any more work, they can't move any more fuel. Generally, running your injectors above like an 80, 85% duty cycle, you're kind of playing with fire because the last thing you want to do is run out of fuel on a high horsepower build because the engine will detonate and tear itself up. Now, when is this necessary? I would say if you're moving into uh, like a big bore cam, um, cylinder head upgrade situation, you're probably gonna look at um, changing out this manifold here and changing out your injectors. If you just have a cam, maybe a cam and a big board, you're gonna be fine, but you are gonna start to see gains with the addition of this manifold, especially if it's ported, and then obviously you may need to run them bigger injectors. The injectors themselves aren't going to necessarily make more horsepower, but they're going to support the ability to make more horsepower, if that makes sense to you. Coming down the line here, this is the actual throttle body. So this is what controls the flow of air in and out of your motor. This is a throttle by wire bike. The throttle is electronically controlled. So there are no cables going to this. The earlier ones, pre-throttle by wire, would have had a wheel like a carb that opened this throttle blade back and forth. Now I will say it's really important, a good tip, if you have an electronically controlled throttle, which if you have a late model Harley Davidson, you probably do, don't push on these. Like the old ones, you could push them and push that blade open and closed because it was just spring loaded. These are controlled by little plastic gears on the inside. You actually break those off by pushing on that. So just a little tip, don't push on that. If you're going to a big bore cam or above stroker motor cylinder heads, adding a bigger throttle body is going to help bring more air into your engine. What I mean by bigger is just the diameter of the opening. Getting a bigger throttle body than what, than what you have is gonna allow you to add more airflow into the engine, which then you can obviously add fuel to to make more power. If you're gonna go ahead and upgrade your throttle body, definitely uh, spend the extra few bucks, upgrade that manifold. In fact, you really can't go very far in an M8 upgrading a throttle body unless you do upgrade that manifold. Upgrading a throttle body is a great upgrade, no matter if you have a twin cam or an M8. If you wanna make some power, eventually you're gonna have to address the throttle body. Now over here, you can see I have a couple things. This is the stock ECM. Now why I included this in here is because this obviously has a direct effect on all of these other pieces. You can have all of these other things, but you still need a way to control the flow of fuel into your engine, and that is done 
with your ECM. You can do things like add a fuel pack or add a power vision, which basically interrupt the signal from the ECM to the injector and give it new instructions. Or you can go with something like a Thunder Max and that replaces the entire ECM and you get a ton more functionality with it. These days you can't mention all of your other fuel delivery stuff and not reference the ECM or a fuel controller of some sort. And of course people always ask, do I need a fuel pack? Do I need a fuel controller of some sort? My answer is basically yes. Even a stock motor will benefit from fuel control. You can do a lot of things with it. You can add some, add some fuel in there and cool it down. A lot of Harleys typically run lean and hot. That's why you get the heat on the inside of your legs. And if you do anything to change that airflow through that engine, and what I mean by that is an intake or an exhaust or anything past that, you need to have the ability to match that change in your fuel system. As always, have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.